One of my subscribers, Pam Jones, hi Pam, asked if I had ever made candy rhubarb and there's supposed to be a canning recipe for it. She had had it once. I could not find a canning recipe for it all, but I did find a dehydrating recipe. So this weekend I made candied rhubarb. Mmm, it's good. So you can have fresh rhubarb or rhubarb you buy in the store. Just has to be in the stock form. So the easiest is to use a vegetable peeler and you're going to want to make thin slices like this. And we're just going to put the peeler on it. Start on this end. And this is so much easier when I'm sitting down instead of standing up trying to show you. Let's see here. There, see? Just trying to make a ribbon. Getting towards the end of this one. So just keep doing it until you have a bunch of ribbons. So we put in two cups sugar and half a cup water. And we're just making simple syrup. And we just need to melt all the sugar. All the sugar and now we're putting in all our little ribbons in this. Liam here is mixing it up really well. And we're going to leave it absorb the sugar syrup for a half hour, hour. Make it nice and sweet. It's been 40 minutes. Now we're going to lay the strips out nice and gooey. Hopefully they absorbed a lot of the sugar. And don't put them too close to each other. I want air to get between them. I'm thinking this would make the mesh real sticky, so I'm using this instead because then it's easy to clean. So I'll be back when I get these all laid out. So we're making two trays. We're going to put it in the dehydrator and we'll check on it for after about an hour, I'm just putting it on the regular temperature used when you're drying vegetables. But you could also do this in your oven at uh, 270 degrees or the lowest you can get in your oven. Don't discard your leftover syrup. Use it to make a sweet tea or some other beverage. So I let it dry for about three hours and then just turned it off overnight and let it stay in the dehydrator. So here it is. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can curl them around your finger or around a wooden spoon and make a nice garnish. But I'm sure we're just going to eat these up quickly as a quick, sweet, and sour snack. So if you have too much rhubarb or just want to try an unusual recipe, make some candied rhubarb. Um, my grandson liked it. At the end, it can be just a little chewy because of the fibers but it's sweet and then a little sour so i really liked it i hope you give it a try this is prepper potpourri saying please subscribe and share the knowledge thank you